Hey there guys, what's going on? So today we have yet another video review here for your consumption, and I personally think that it's gearing up to be one of the best weeks for talking music that I've really managed to have on YouTube in quite some time. It's a steady and a slow process to say the least, but I for one am excited to bring you what I feel has been some of my best work in a really, really long time, honestly. Just so you, the viewers, may hopefully choose to consume it. We're getting into the later half of the year now, and while some outlets for fun and mischief choose to slow down once it gets to be this time of year, we're not pulling a summer and slinking away with our collective tails between our legs. Rather, music is still out there, live and swinging, with the ammunition of plenty of new artists and their highly anticipated releases, and luckily for those of us in the review game, it leaves a lot of tidbits to go in there and take the dustpan and sweep out from under the rug. Take Today's forthcoming release, for instance. Do out on September 9th, as everything I've talked about this week seems to be, it features a well-traveled female artist who, I must say, has hit it pretty solidly on the head with a band she's been a major part of over the last several years. This, however, takes her more out of the comfort zone you might ordinarily expect, and instead changes the tone of her usual approach entirely. Our featured artist today is none other than Karen O, and for this one she ditches the yeah, yeah, yeahs in favor of a vastly more stripped-down solo performance that is at last going to see the light of day after being recorded across the span of 2006 and 2007. It's called Crush Songs, and it is a more intimate collection of snapshots ruminating on the idea of love and ever falling in love again when you're in your 20s confronted by far too many crushes. But without further ado, let us begin, shall we? I, for one, was truly first introduced to Karen O's work through this stripped-down side of her nature last year, when the transcendently sweet The Moon Song was featured so prominently on the soundtrack of the Spike Jones movie Her. As so many were, I couldn't help but be captured by its delicately breezy swoon, and with the announcement of Crush Songs, I was nothing if not intrigued by this time capsule that encompassed the same sort of ideas. However, as compared to how finished The Moon Song was, I find Crush Songs to be an overall lacking listen. Clocking in at barely 26 minutes over the span of 14 tracks, Crush almost seems as though it would have been better suited, tacked on as sort of a deluxe bonus compilation, or a more well-edited EP. While songs like Wrapped, NYC Baby, and So Far hit home in their rapid-fire, bare-bones composition, and even King has an innocently redeeming quality to it as a tribute to Michael Jackson, other songs just feel like they disappear and evaporate before the idea of them can even begin. It's the best type of song that can take us places and create a moment, but time and time again it feels like the pull of a moment is there only to stop and disappear. And obviously the purpose of demos themselves are to act as sketches and the musician's version of a writer's rough draft, but it doesn't really work when the ideas are supposed to be complete, but they feel partial and constantly in a skipping over state of fragmentation. While the lo-fi nature of this is endearing, and it's actually quite a romantic sort of notion to imagine Karen going into this private room to record these very most inner thoughts and the despairs of love while this other great success was about to happen to her, it, it's all just a little too disjointed and muddy to really work, in my opinion. As I said before, it lacks those true moments, and that pull that not only makes a good song, but a song that really honestly, when you get to it, feels complete. And it's not even about the length of it. I've heard songs well under three minutes that can set a mood, whether it be sadness, joy, despair, trepidation, anxiety, whatever, what have you, and end with this feeling of satisfying conclusion. With Crush songs, it feels more like getting a peek at someone's sketchbook and wondering where the heart within that concept truly lies. And while some might call them snapshots, I feel like it's more of a collection of songs that lack the credence to stand out on their own as a true solo record. But to be fair to it, Karen O's voice is a standout, even in the hazy wisp of this home-recorded atmosphere, and the concept of it does suit her should she ever pursue the solo direction again somewhere down the line. Songs like Ooh and Sunset Sun also glow with a just-waking-up-to-take-in-the-day sort of hush, and it's in the pretty blips such as those where Crush songs glows the most brightly. Nevertheless, I think it comes out of the wash as more thought than overall substance by the time the last track rolls. My favorites from this one are, well... Pretty much all of the aforementioned that I managed to work in there here in this review. I must say that I'm still impressed with the solo work of Karen O, whether it be on film or for a record, and I'd be willing to give her music another look should she choose to go down this path at some point in the future. For fans of her music or really stripped down stuff like the likes of Daniel Johnston or Kimya Dawson, I think it'd be a welcome acquisition, but in my perspective it's overhyped and unrealistically romanticized despite some definite bright spots. I give Karen O's Crush Songs a 6 out of 10. 
But that's it, and that's all for me here, guys, with my review of Karen O and her new album, Crush Songs. You can go and acquire it over on her website, through Cult Records, over on Amazon, uh, on iTunes, digital, and physical outlets the world over. You can go and get it at your local record shop and support the great independents as you always should, and uh, all of that usual stuff, but you'll be able to find the record in one of those many places. I hope you enjoyed this review, or didn't as the case may be, uh, and by which you know you can throw your fruit and other heinous items at my face because it is your computer and my face is not really there, so by all means go ahead, or just leave a nasty YouTube comment or troll me in the you know down there and we can just get into all of that. But, point being, I'm glad you watched this review. You know, I'm always glad to see what anybody has to say, or you know, cares I'm glad to see when there's somebody who even cares what I have to say for a few minutes, if I can spit those words out, and by all means, keep it here for much more new stuff, new reviews, new vinyl things coming up very soon. Uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned.